Guys, welcome to Engineering Semester Technology. Today we are going to introduce another interesting technology called WebRTC. So you might think what is WebRTC? In this video we are only talking about basics of WebRTC, or in other words this video for beginners who want to know about WebRTC technology. I will explain what is WebRTC and its APIs for developers who want to use this technology. If you are not yet subscribed this channel, go and click the subscribe button. OK. Now let us move into it. WebRTC or Web Real-Time Communication is a set of protocols and APIs that enable real-time communication over peer-to-peer -peer connection. In 2011 Google released browser-based WebRTC project. And this technology will help you to make different apps like video conferencing file transfer chats and desktop sharing without any external applications. WebRTC uses real-time transfer protocols to transfer video and audio over peer connection. This is completely open source and free under the terms of Berkeley Source Distribution License. WebRTC supports on browsers like Chrome Mozilla Opera, Microsoft Edge Android BlackBerry etc. Now let's talk why should we use this technology. I would say first reason it is completely open source and free. Next reason is you just required only a WebRTC compatible browser to work this technology. OK. Now let us move into more depth. I already said that WebRTC provided some APIs to develop the application. Let us see what are they. First API is Get User Media. This API helps to access user webcam and microphone from the browser. Next API is RTC Peer Connection. This API helps to set up video and audio calls between peer connection. Also it take care of encoding and decoding NAT traversal etc. Don't worry now. I will explain these terms in the upcoming videos. Another API is RTC Data Channel. This API helps to share data over peer connection. The last API is Get Stats. This API helps to get WebRTC session in the browser. So I hope you guys get a basic understanding about WebRTC technology. Now let us think why this technology more popular today. Why should we use this technology? I hope most of them are using Skype calls, Messenger calls, or any other chat applications. Isn't it? Then what's special in this WebRTC technology compared to other chat application? Why this is more popular than those applications? Let us check now. We already discussed WebRTC it is open source and free. So this is one big advantage for WebRTC. Anybody can contribute and edit those source code. Do you know about client server system? Skype Messenger and other chat applications are based on the client and server mechanism. That is. Client will send the query and served will respond to that query. If you want to send a file then the client will send file first to server and it stores the data. After that server will respond. This will take lot of time. But in WebRTC the performance is much higher than normal server client application. No need of sending data to the server first. We can get direct communication between wire. This is another advantage of the WebRTC. So now you can understand why WebRTC is more popular today. Because it is open source and really fast. Are you thinking WebRTC is interesting? Do you want to create a WebRTC application from scratch? We will help you. It is cool fun and free. In upcoming videos we will share how to write an application and server using WebRTC technology. Oops. I forgot to say something important. WebRTC is a JavaScript-based technology. JavaScript is a language widely used in the browser. Don't worry if you don't know. We will help you in the upcoming tutorial series. Let's look now what you will get from this series of WebRTC tutorial. Definitely you can learn a new technology and how to design a WebRTC application in the browser. Finally how to deploy and test the application. That's it for now. Let us see more in the upcoming videos series. If you are thinking this is informative, then like and share subscribe. Also support us. Thank you have a wonderful day.